Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video we are going to fix the broken unique gimbal as you can see here. So this uh, gimbal was attached to a drone which was crashed and after the crash this is how it was found. So the three wires, these three wires which were connected to the gimbal somewhere they were broken so we are going to fix and attach this. So the first thing let's open this piece and see where this these cables go. If you look at this side of the gimbal from this side from the top side we see that there are two screws here. Okay. So let's open these two screws. It's just Phillips screwdriver. That piece is removed. Now the other one. I'm holding this with my finger so it doesn't move. So the two screws were removed. Now let's turn this here. Uh, this is the hole I'm holding. Holding it from right side. So you just slide these two out. I remove that. That was the hole. So, so the three connections that you can see he, here are this, that one and the third one. The third one mine has ripped off totally as you can see it here. This has ripped off and as you can see, oh, it just broke this wire. This wire was also attached. So this is ripped off totally and this two were just broken from the wire. So as you can see here, on this one it says VCC, that's the positive voltage wire. And then we see GND, which is ground or negative. And then the last one here is PWM, pulse width modulation. This is the signal or the command that sends or receives, uh, sent to the gimbal. So this is a receiving signal from the drone. Now, how do we know? I forgot to record the opening of these three screws from here. And as you can see here, the three wires have been labeled clearly as VCC, GND and PWM. So we will solder these wires to the PCB as shown here. PWM was connected from here to that resistor and the path has been ripped off as I showed you earlier. So that wire, that PWM, is supposed to be connected there. Now if I connect the wire there it will be very vulnerable and it will rip the resistor off. So I have to find a better solution to connect it properly here. So for that reason, because this is weak, I want to make sure that if on the other side of this board there is a connection for this then I can put a wire here and solder it on the other side because here I cannot solder anything. As I said that for this path this has been ripped off so I have to I want to just make sure to open these four screws here the four screws and see on the other side if there is a connection because it seems there is a round piece that I can see that piece it seems that it, there is a hole and it has been soldered so it's possible that I can solder it on the other side or just pass through this a piece of wire so we can attach it and then connect it with the wire because if I connect that wire if I connect a wire directly to the resistor it will pull it off with a simple push because this will not be able to hold it. This was not any help so let me put this back. It's just a piece of the capacitor that should be soldered. I'm gonna take that risk because I have no other clue or solution at the moment that comes into my mind to fix this. So uh, I'm gonna put that I'm, solder, I'm going to solder it, but in order to avoid pulling the cable 
pulling the piece I'm gonna you apply some glue or crazy glue on this side so the wire is attached in case in the future if we open it it doesn't go immediately but I have to be very cautious when I work in the future with this clean this up and this piece as well by doing this it will just eliminate creating multiple threads so I will apply some so that is done as you can see the path width modulation is this one I'm gonna do this last and let's do the mm, from the left side let's do the ground this is the ground and ground is the the middle one let's remove the VCC here at the moment so ground also clear that a little let me put some new into powder the point into the point and also in the other one so I have a little more I'm applying some flux to clear this now it's better cut this because this is too long so now I'm doing the VCC let's get the let's get the VCC so this is done VCC is connected ground is connected now this piece with quite difficulty I was able to first uh, apply glue and then it didn't work then I applied the glue gun to hold the wire and after that I soldered it as you can see in this picture so I'm sorry I didn't have the recording at that time let's put this back Put this back with the three screws. So now, as you can see, even if this wire is touched, the glue is holding it so it doesn't pull the piece. But it's very vulnerable with a simple touch, it can rip the piece off. Let me put the, the this one then, or better, I'm just thinking. I just remove this okay now after that let's push this put it back first insert these two sides here and then make sure the cables go in this area inserted okay so insert all the cables first and then if you pull it it will go and set so no issue come to this side put the two screws So I'm just holding it like that. Make sure it's in place because when it's in place you will see the T the three points here properly. So now I'll put the three screws. 
that piece is done. Now I have to insert it here and and then start like that. Once you insert it, it just comes like that and fits. For the other piece as well, just bend it like that first and then push that piece and then this side. It just fits. Go here. Okay, that's it. Installed. Now let's put the camera and test it to make sure this works. Let's put the So now I've inserted the gimbal. And then turn in my receiver. If this gets stabilized, okay, so the power comes, but the next step is to check and make sure that, uh, that I can control the gimbal going up and down or do some control measures that is needed. So with this knob, I want to see if I can control it. As you can see, like it's so working. So now I'm pushing it up. Perfect. The gimbal worked, and also for the video, let me. Just okay, so my camera is on now, and as you can see here, I just moved the so that is the view from my uh, gimbal. So thank you very much, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe.